And that's when everything gave less. <laughs> because while you get in your bag, you like, wait, 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 wait a minute, what's this? I can already tell that I'm missing two to three wheels. Like, if you want to submit a claim via online, it's going to say, we apologize for the mishandling of your baggage. To submit a claim for delayed damage or lost baggage, Delta will offer you different style bags, different size bags. And then she was just like, hey, I don't care if you work for the company or not, baby girl. <laughs> That's not how this works. And I was like, what? <laughs> Clutch is part Going through this process is completely free, free 99. You do not have to come out of pocket for anything, not even shipping. Put your head on my shoulder. Welcome to my channel. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in yet again to another episode of Brie on TV, where I am your host, Brie. In today's video, we will be doing a content-based video where I will be taking you along the steps, hopefully in order. I have tried to be organized and write them down, but every bullet point that I had just had so many additional extra notes and I was like, we, I won't be recording this video until like tomorrow if I decide to get all my notes in order before I record. So... The content video is going to be in regards to the steps that you would take when you travel. If you come across, I hope this even makes sense. If you're coming across your luggage being damaged. So one of the reasons why I'm deciding to record this video at this current moment is because I was about, I, well, actually I've been needing to unbox <laughs> Basically, my luggage that Delta Airlines has sent me after I went through this entire process, but I was like, might as well turn this into a content based video because y'all probably, you know, are going to have questions of how to actually go through this process. I've already been through this process. I work for the company. So it's just like, it just flows. You're coming back from your girl's trip in Aruba. Um ba ba da da ba da 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 ba da da ba. You on the plane? Um ba ba da da ba da da ba 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 da ba. You and your girl shouting out, girl, we was too late. We was too late. That that was the time to be alive. You know the TikTok, yeah. Then you know you get to the Atlanta airport. Um ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba. You on the train? Um ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba. Then you get to baggage claim. Um, ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Boom. You waiting for your bag to come around that carousel. Um, ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba 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 -ba. You get your bag. And that's when everything gave less. <laughs> because while you get in your bag, you like, wait, 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 wait a minute. What's this? <laughs> I can already tell that I'm missing two to three wheels like why my baby only got one wheel on her that's not how i gave her to y'all when i checked her in in aruba well um realistically you're gonna be as mad as you know all it is but you know just 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 try to calm down because you know there's a light at the end of every tunnel your luggage is damaged it could be one it could be multiple but basically like hopefully y'all just get in my drift the first thing that you want to do since you are in present day noticing the damages to your luggage is you want to walk over to baggage claim. Now, if you're flying with American Airlines, if you're flying with JetBlue, if you're flying with uh, Spirit, Frontier, United, Southwest, even like, you know, KLM and things like that, their process is going to be a little bit more different. Or probably a lot more different it may just be strictly online based but I'm just kind of I'm just trying to like kind of like bring it home so once you go to once you make your way to baggage claim at the Atlanta Airport in the domestic uh, terminal the first thing that you're going to do is file a claim with baggage claim so basically you walk up in the line they're like hey next 
you have your luggage current you have your damaged luggage with you so it's visible and the ticket and gate agent or the agent is going to pull up all of your information just to verify that you did fly from Aruba remember we said you flew from Aruba on a girl's trip back home to Atlanta so they're just gonna basically pull up your uh, your flight itinerary just to kind of like verify everything um, and also to verify that your luggage was not damaged upon you traveling back from Aruba or just initially traveling from Atlanta to Aruba and then back because one thing that I do want y'all to be aware of because this is you know because I'm an employee with the company is ticket and gate agents do tag your bag once you check it in it's already damaged and you probably thinking like why would somebody check in their bag that's already damaged <laughs> hey people do it all the time I've seen the craziest weirdest type of situations with bags trying to you know just like patch up the bruises some people but instead of last leg is last legging me and this luggage gonna make it do what it do yes some people think like that or some people's pockets just can't really afford to purchase a new a new luggage when it comes to like a wheel being missing there's different type of claims that can be filed once you are in baggage once you are in baggage claim luggage being lost lu luggage being stolen luggage being damaged or if your luggage is delayed if you got back from aruba and your bag just never even made the flight and it's like what the fuck is tea where's my bag baggage claim will be able to assist you throughout that you know throughout those like ordeals so delta airlines has a website where you can get a lot more information in regards to um how to submit a claim uh, what you submit a, what you should submit a claim for and so forth but I kind of just want to keep this video geared towards damaged luggage so you can make a claim in person or you can make a claim via online but um, if you want to submit a claim via online it's going to say we apologize for the mishandling of your baggage to submit a claim for delayed damage or lost baggage please complete this form please reference the file reference number you obtained from baggage service center at the airport along with supporting documentation to process your claim so that's why step number one is what you would file a claim in person at the airport if that's when you noticed that you had damaged luggage. So to bring this back to reality, because obviously I went through this process when I traveled too, because I'm organized, I create a photo for all my um, flights or my trips. When I went to Ghana, when I went to Accra, Ghana in June of 2021, I have my dates, have my folder. for the first time so y'all y'all have no idea what the fuck i'm talking about but you can tune into my i think like my vacation accra ghana get stuck in jfk that whole ordeal baby when i made it to ghana <laughs> after getting stuck in new york basically my luggage came late <laughs> and it came damaged i'm okay now so we can all laugh about it but at the time i was pissed I was pissed. I do not care that I was working for the aviation world. I was pissed as anybody would be. Baby, that was juicy good tour. What could you talk about? So, um, Delta Airlines doesn't have like physical employees located in Ghana, Accra. Like, so this was a third party company that Delta contracts that basically took on my uh, basically like incident report my um, my claim like they helped me file a claim um, and so he circled damage it's not gonna look like this for majority of everybody else because then again I was in a country that Delta Airlines doesn't have like employees based there 
So this is all through the third party. Like I said, in the claim, it basically has the contents of, I had one bag that was damaged or affected. My bag tag number, um, basically the design of my bag. Uh, I had to put when I purchased the bag, I had to, you know, give like estimates how much I purchased the bag for. Um, was my luggage locked? When was the last time that I saw my property before I discovered that it was damaged? Uh, were there any signs of forced entry? So once you have created your claim, number two, I want to um, inform you about is you will receive a file reference number. That number is very unique to you and your situation or your claim because if you ever wanted to follow up for the process of like, how long is my bag going to take, you know, being shipped to my address. Um, and all of like those type of details, one thing to inform you about that is very important is baggage claim, baggage claim services. They do not go through the process and like choose out your, um, your new bag, your new luggage and so forth. That is all strictly upon you. You will receive an email after you receive your file reference number. And I'll just basically kind of like read you a little bit of my email. I then receive a confirmation email that basically takes me to the next steps. Um, in summary, basically, um, an account has been created for you at online baggage replacement. Uh, please log in by clicking this link below. And once you click the link, it will lead you to a page where you could create your own password and then you can begin to select your baggage replacement. Once you have completed your order, it will take up to seven business days for you to receive your new bag. You will receive email notifications regarding the status of your online and tracking information via UPS. So now we are basically to the point where we are online going through the website from the link that we received after we filed the claim with our file reference number through baggage um, claim services. So depending on when you um, are making your claim and so forth, Delta will offer you different style bags, different size bags and so forth. It will like, it's never the same. Like what I experienced in 2021 to eventually receive Delta brand style luggage will be different from you yourself who was watching this video today and it's like let me go ahead and make my claim baby so um a few things to keep in note is that delta airlines with it being a huge company they partner with a third party ryan's luggage and more netbags.com so that is the website that Delta Airlines partners with that you will be choosing your luggage or luggages, however many, you know, were damaged in your file, the claim from the claim that you made. It didn't have anything like it didn't have any bags blocked off and was like this one you don't qualify for. It wasn't like that. It's, it literally was just like an open book, but <laughs> it only gave me two pages to choose from. And at first I was like really irritated because I was like, what, what is this? So this brings me to another important inf um, detail that you need to be aware of. I had a Juicy Couture, I don't even want to say limited edition, but these type of luggages that I, ha that I had, the type of luggage that I had is rare. Not everybody in a mama was walking around with a Juicy Couture marble design luggage i purchased that luggage in particular from nordstrom racks when i saw my options on this website i was just like hey 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 i don't see that nam marble design on any of these bags <laughs> i don't see not nan like girly cute aesthetic -y luggage 
on this website. Like, me and the person, I guess, who was assigned to me, because I reached out to them when I was like, hey, 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 like, what is this? These My options, what is this? So I reached out to um, the customer care, not for Delta Airlines, but the customer care for baggage claim services. It's actually two separate numbers. And with me, like explaining my situation, I told her, I just, I just want the, I want a refund. Like I just want the dollar amount that I spent for my bag. I want to give it back to me since like what I'm seeing is like not up to my standards. And then she was just like, <laughs> I don't care if you work for the company or not, baby girl. <laughs> That's not how this works. And I was like, what? <laughs> Clutches pearls. Yes. Regardless if you work for the company, if you don't work for aviation, you do dot, whatever the situation is, everybody gets treated the same in regards to you do not receive a dollar amount or a refund back to you in regards to your luggage being damaged. Your only option is to follow this process and get a replaced bag for free. That's that's the best that the airlines can do. I mean, hey, <laughs> hey. Another thing to keep in mind is that your link has an expiration date. So I wanna say mine was 30 days after I filed my claim and they sent me that confirmation link I had 30 days to basically choose a bag. Delta ain't gonna give you all day and they mama and them for you to be lollygagging about what bag you want. Go ahead and click on the link and figure out what bag you want so that way you can get to this step right here. I know you probably like, well, Brianna, what if I don't like the options of the bag that they gave me? <laughs> I ain't like the options of the bag that they gave me and I work for the damn company. But I still had to do what it make it do what it do. And I do what I do what I did. But I do just want to reiterate that going through this process is completely free, free 99. You do not have to come out of pocket for anything, not even shipping, not even shipping, completely free. So once I chose my bag, because I had an oversized luggage that was damaged, I, you know, in hindsight, chose a replacement bag that was also of the same size, which was oversized. The address that I put on file is where my bag was shipped to. I did try to keep in mind and choose like a well-known luggage brand, but then again, I'm not really too hip to all of that because I chose Juicy Couture and when was Juicy Couture ever known to be top of the line, you know, luggage carriers? So I care more about aesthetics and the overall look of my bag versus the brand. And that's just me. So I don't really know about too much of what's going on, but we're going to figure out together because we're about to now unbox the bag that I actually received in 2021. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Big body, <laughs> big body, Desley, Paris. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It has the four wheels that I feel like everybody should have when they purchase luggage. 
we're not doing that old school two wheels and then you gotta pick it up roll it like it's 2022 get with it baby this collection combines style quality and convenience in an eye-catching design for travelers to look sharp during their trip looking sharp i hope i will be because this is a very bland block color the reason why i choose to not go for solid basic colors regardless of it being a you know really well-known brand within like the luggage world is because to me this is easily able to be stolen <laughs> Somebody can easily walk off with my bag and because I'm not even used to having a bag like this, child, it could be happening right in front of my eyes and my ass would just be in fucking la la land. So, I don't know. Um, to be honest, it offers a lot of the same qualities or traits that my Juicy Couture oversized luggage had in regards to how you're able to, after you pack, you're able to basically weigh everything down. I never understood what this zipper was for, but it has one right there. Um, after you pack everything in your luggage, you can then zip it up. And then it comes with another zipper after you zip everything up. Basically, to just remain organized. So, really standard. It does not... Again, it does not have any form of pockets or zippers on the outside of the luggage because it is hard body. It comes with an embedded lock code. And what is this? Because I know it's not a charger. Um, TSA approved. So that's why this is here. Basically, TSA ever needed to get inside my luggage because you are able to lock your luggage once once your two zippers meet you can lock it but if tsa ever needed to get inside your luggage that's what this is for i hope that i basically was very informative i hope that you were able to basically follow along with me and i hope me giving my real life scenarios kind of allowed you to understand the process of what you would need to do if you were to come across the situation where you had a lost damage or if you had a damaged luggage and needed to go through the process of receiving a new one or replacement from the airline company that basically damaged your bag so don't forget to like this video if you liked it, share this video with anybody who you know needs to be aware of this video or who's going through this process of replacing a bag. Subscribe to my channel because we have a lot more aviation content on the way and then comment down below any questions, comments, or concerns that you have.